Hello and welcome. Um, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how your features and your skin and your makeup routine might change uh, when you are turning from your 30s to your 40s. Um, I'm going to be 42 in two weeks and this is kind of the inspiration for this video. I started thinking about how my makeup application has been changed and also there has been a change in some of my products as well so um, there's definitely some thoughts um, to consider for some these changes are going to happen sooner for some they are going to happen later but most of these are something that pretty much almost all of us are going to face in one way or another so uh, let's get started. Um, before I begin uh, about this look, uh, I just uh, created this because I was testing these cream eyeshadows and metallic glitter eyeshadows from Clarence. Uh, I have already posted that review. Uh, I think I'm going to post it today when I'm filming this. And I also took close-up pictures of this look, so if you want to see those, you can check out that video. I will link it below. Or go to my Instagram channel, there will be close-up pictures of this look. But now, let's get started. Um, the first thing, at least, which is most obvious for me, is that the skin texture has changed uh, during past years. Um, I've al always had quite large pores, especially on my nose, but also on my forehead, um, not so much on my chin, and basically not, not at all on my cheeks. Uh, when you do get more older or let's say more experienced, um, your skin will get more textured. No matter how much um, she is again here. Uh, no, let's, let's show you. Uh, she is only seven years old, so not so old yet. Okay. She always, when I'm filming, she just wants to come and say hello. So, when you get older, your skin is going to get more textured. Um, if, you, if you have already enlarged pores, they are going to get more visible, more larger. Uh, if you have fine lines, you will get more fine lines and they will look more uh, deeper and more like obvious. Um, if you have scars, uh, also those can look a bit more visible only because we lose that elast elasticity on our skin, so which holds kind of that skin uh, on place and tighter. And when we lose that, everything is going to enlarge in every way. Mostly it's going to go downwards sacking. So everything, if there is some kind of uh, pores or fine lines, it's going to be more visible. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's something you just need to remember and, and kind of um, accept. If you want to start battling against uh, in large pores or um, fine lines, you can of course start doing it but it, you will never win that race. There is never going to be a product which will cover everything. Or, or if there is, then you have so much makeup on that um, it's not, at least for me, it's not very, something I look forward. Um, for me, I have all, always accepted that I have huge pores. I do use pore minimizing uh, products. Uh, and I do enjoy uh, foundations that do minimize pores as well. But I've never minded about having these larger pores um, because they are there, they are part of me. Uh, and when I'm getting older, I have now... Now... I'm sorry, this, this furry one is, is here. Uh, I have now noticed that I have starting started to getting in large pores also on my cheek, which didn't happen just maybe five years ago, I didn't have any. So that is something 
something that has changed uh, during these past few years. And um, I'm, I'm sure that I'm going to get more large pores also on this area that I not, at least not now have any larger pores. Um, that's just something. And um, how to face it that uh, I usually, as I mentioned, I do use pore minimizing primers, but uh, I nowadays prefer these primers and foundations which give that optical minimization. They don't actually feel anything. They just give that kind of luminosity so your pores won't be looking so so obvious uh, and so prominent. Um, you might have noticed that if you have very very dry skin your pores might look even larger than when you have moist skin and there is glow it's not so easy to notice the pores and that's that's how i have tackled this pore pore issue i i use different kind of luminous primers for example pekka backlight primer or then there is this new one i've been testing a very affordable from essence this glow boosting this is kind of pinkish pearlescent primer which gives that little bit that optical illusion. So that's definitely something I have noticed now that I'm getting a bit more experienced. Pitäisikö sun mennä vähän nyt jonnekin muualle? Pitäisikö? Niin. I think she is still the prettiest one in our family. Niin. Olet, olet. Joo. Next thing, which is quite obvious for many of us already, now I have cat hair everywhere, uh, is that uh, when we get older, uh, our skin tends to get more dry. Uh, usually those people who have had oily skin might notice that when they get uh, over 30 or 40, they, their skin is more like normal skin. I used to have oily combination skin, but lately I've noticed that my skin is more to the dry side. Um, especially my cheeks, my chin, also my forehead. My nose is still quite oily, but it's still uh, dehydrated and it's getting more and more like a normal skin on my nose. Uh, it's not oily only summer months, which is only a few months here in Finland, so not so often. Um, but I've noticed that I need to moisture more, more intensively. Uh, for example, my night creams are quite thick nowadays, so I really want a thick kind of moisturize, moisture on my skin. And also with my foundations and my primers, I want something which is moisturizing, which is serum-like, like for example, if you've seen my Instagram channel, you know that I absolutely love this Skin Illusion uh, foundation from Clarins. It's so moisturizing, so comfortable, so beautiful on the skin, and it's really, it's really, um, it's made for mature skin. Uh, it stays a lot for the whole day, and still it keep, keeps your face really moisturized and, and healthy. Uh, that said, I also love this everything that gives glow and um, brightness on my skin. Preferably if it's on a um, cream formula or a uh, liquid formula. Uh, lately I've been loving these, um, which are these course luminizers from Cora Organics. Um, she is here again. <laughs> Uh, these give a beautiful, beautiful kind of wetness look. These are not kind of highlighter. These give that wet glow on your skin. Uh, there is clear and um, rose and amethyst, which is more like a lilac one. Uh, these are just beautiful on, on cheekbones and on forehead, a little bit of chin. It gives you that freshness. Uh, 
for example, if you have just a minimal amount of makeup and you want a little bit of more glow, you can use those and those are really beautiful. One sign of uh, aging, which is maybe possibly not so visible in this age, it might be more so and uh, in next 10 years or so is a kind of a drooping which is that the uh, your face is going to go downwards and that's why there is so much those lifting uh, beauty operations in the world people want their faces be lifted upwards uh, the downwards drooping is very age aging in this visual way so people recognize that you don't have that kind of tight, uh, youthful feature in your face. Uh, I have slightly noticed a little bit of that uh, also because of aging and also because I have gained few few extra kilos. Uh, I have here a little bit of that puffiness uh, which didn't used to be there when I was younger. So I can see that this part of my face is started to getting lower. Uh, and this is a feature you can see in your family if you, if you watch your mother and grandmother and you can see that they have the same features as you have and you can see it by the faces at the with your mother it's it's here and with your grandmother it's in here so you can see the effect of it uh, what that means with wake makeup is that you want to use kind of lifting uh, techniques in your makeup contouring is for example a good example of it uh, for many people who are getting older and they want to remove uh, visually that sign of aging, uh, they do a little bit of contouring in here so that uh, this part which is more puffy looking, you, they use darker color in here so in that way it looks that the chin line is more youthful. It's very simple. Uh, also narrowing the the cheekbones when you get older you lose your fat from for example here in your under eye area and you, you might lose fat also from your cheeks so giving that youthful uh, dimensions on your face you can create those also with uh, um, contouring um, that's something more visible when you get older as I said so in these 30s to 40s that's not really something you should be worried about but that's something you might notice but um, it's it's nothing so obvious one thing though is that if you have as heavily hooded eyes as I do uh, they have always been heavily hooded and the more older I get the more heavily hooded and downwards turned hooded eyes those are. So that's something also that when I do my makeup I always want to lift my eyes upwards and I'm very very careful not to take my eyeshadow too far in here because my this part is quite rounded and if I take my eyeshadow here it will kind of enhance the roundness and the, the puffiness on my eyes and that's not exactly very youthful look. So this is kind of the shape of my eyeshadow I always do which is more rounded and upwards so it will look more youthful in, in my eyes. But um, you need to learn your features and see what kind of changes have happened in your skin and your face and maybe change a little bit of the way of how you do your eyeliner for example or do your eyeshadow. Um, then fourth thing is lips. Um, when you get older there is two things that happens. Uh, first thing is that you will lose the puffiness in your lips. So um, for example, I have already noticed, I have al always had more puffy uh, lower lip and my upper lip has been uh, a bit thinner and not so full. But I have already noticed that this upper lip has already started to kind of go uh, more inside in a way that it lost the fullness in, in upper lip so it kind of shrinks. 
and this lip looks smaller which again is a thing that will make me look a bit older. That is why so many people want to use a little bit of fillers to give that more youthful lip look uh, in their lips and easy trick which almost everybody knows is overlining your lips which I've noticed I started doing <laughs> recently. I haven't done it before but just past few months I have noticed that I started overlining my lips a little bit so something has changed. A lower lips is still okay, I have no problems with that one in in few years at least. But that's happening. Uh, also another thing which is something people don't know that the color of your lips uh, can change and especially as I'm this fair uh, the change can be quite visible as well. Uh, of course it depends also your genes and what color it has been previously and also it depends um, of, of the texture of your skin and everything. But um, lip color tends to turn more cooler uh, side of the shade range, which means that it's more, more blue. And that is why, uh, especially elderly women, if you have noticed, they love using mauve tones and a little bit of brownish tones and orange tones, something that makes their lip more warm toned. And that's some, that's, that's just something that if you have very, very um, blue toned lips, you want to warm it up a little bit. Um, I have always had quite blue toned lips. Uh, that's just something. I have a bit cool toned skin, so that just comes with it. But uh, I have noticed that my lips are getting even more cooler. So I need to make a slight changes in the lipstick colors. Uh, I just cannot use, for example, very very cool pink toned lipsticks just look horrible on me. And the older I get, the more mauve tones I love, which I didn't use to like that much before. And this is now, uh, for me, this looks quite, quite co cool, <laughs> actually. When I purchased this lipstick, which is Poppy Brown, uh, this is one of my favorites. Let's see what this is. Is this it? Yes. This is the um, Lux Lip Color mm, Mod number four. Uh, this is very, very peachy pink, uh, very peachy nude kind of shade. And on me, it, it looks quite cool. So that's just something. They, they look different. And also the pH level on your skin affects the pigmentation in lipsticks. So it depends. Uh, that's why every lipstick looks different in different persons because they have different undertone in their lips and also they have different pH level. And when we get older, the pH level also changes. I don't remember the which way, um, but it changes and it affects the pigment on your lipsticks and will it will turn those lipsticks look even more cooler. So that is something you need to notice also. So if you if you are a person who's always been using the same color, uh, you might find someday that it doesn't look that good anymore. Or at least it doesn't look the same anymore. So it's definitely something you need to know, kind of think about just a little bit when you get older and turn from 30 to your 40s. Um, and then just a bonus thing overall, um, when when you are younger, the, the bold looks where you have bold eyes and bold lips and bright plus might look uh, fresh and interesting. And when you turn from 30s to your 40s, it turns out that those <laughs> those look make you look quite old actually. Uh, I love to create those looks for Instagram pictures and in, in those they can look really great, a lot of contrast and colors and shine and everything. But in real life, uh, if you go outside and you watch people and you notice those 
you know the ladies who have quite a lot of makeup, uh, they tend to look quite old. And very often they are not so old as they tend to look, but you, you might kind of think that they, they try to look younger, they stick to the makeup habits of their youth, and then it kind of just doesn't fit anymore. And that's um, the reason is that when we get older, the colors in our skin and in our hair and also in our eyes gets lighter. Uh, if you have noticed, elderly people, they have lighter color in their eyes, especially if, if you have blue eyes. Um, just go and Google old blue-eyed people and you see that many of them have really pale eyes. They might have had more blue eyes or more vibrant eyes when they were younger. And that's something that when you get older, uh, overall the softer colors are usually something that just fit you better. Uh, if, you, if you watch pictures of older women in fashion catalogs or something, you usually see pastel colors and soft colors and, and that kind of pictures. And that, that is for the reason. So harshness and contrast is not something that's considered as, as a good look for elderly people. Um, I, I, I think I can still pull this look. And, and this is actually something which is quite interesting that the more mature you get, uh, this kind of very strong eyes uh, and nude uh, everything else is actually quite good one because then there is this very strong focal point in your face or it can be uh, nude eyes and very bright red lipstick and it's it's something that can kind of make your eye face more fresh but that means that you need to take care of your skin you need to have even out use a youthful foundation moisture have that glow and then have a focal points in your makeup which kind of uh, gets the attention and people don't tend to look for your oldness as as much as you think and overall Remember that people don't notice the things you notice. You look yourself so close from the mirror. People are usually standing somewhere here much further away. People usually look people when when you are talking to another people, you tend to look on your on their eyes or their mouths. And they they don't search for the fine lines on your cheeks. They don't look usually so much on your nose that do you have large pores or or your forehead or something. When we talk to another people, we usually watch their eyes and their lips and their mouth or hands if you are hand talker as I am. So just remember that those are the fascinating points of your face and just put something interesting on your eyes and your lips and no one will notice anything what's happening in your face. And this, as I said, the smile is the most affordable and most effective way to look younger. So remember that. But here was my thoughts from turning from 30s to 40s. If you have noticed some other signs or you agree or disagree anything, please leave me a comment. I, I, I'm curious to know what you think about this, this topic. Um, I will do a series of this. Uh, I have already have, had some requests to make from 40s to 50s, 50s to 60s, maybe 60s to 70s as well. So we'll see how it goes. But definitely because this is an issue we all are going to face and there's not so much talk about, especially here in YouTube, you don't. You, you see those young people in their 20s talking about creases and fine lies and getting old and it just feels so... I understand when you are in your age you feel this is an issue in your life but when you get older it's kind of like okay just wait and see what happens in 20 years. 
But overall, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, otherwise I wouldn't know. And if you are not yet subscribed, please do it now, otherwise you will forget and then you miss my content. So it's blame on you in that, that case. Now I wish you have a great day and see you next time. Bye bye.